In this session, I will take a first quick look at debugging, where we will debug the code that we have previously created. So we will take a look at the code, especially for the association. So we have made some code where we want to set the association to link the standard and our custom content together. And we will debug this a little bit because it really shows how it goes step by step and we can go through that. Okay, for the debugging, we switch to our studio. If you watched the previous videos, you remember that we created for our seminar management two pieces of code. The before save, where we just calculate the total revenue, and also the after modify, where we uh, set the association to a teacher. And that's where we want to really set the breakpoints. We set it here at the retrieve of the after modify, and also we will set it also after the save event, so that we really can take a look into the different pieces of code. So it's very easy to set a breakpoint here. Um, what's important, you need to set who should be debugged, which user. And in my case, I don't want to have my development user to debug, but a business user. So it's a good practice to always test with a real business user. So we use our business user Jenny that we have defined before. That's really the user name. And I enable the debugging and tracing here for Jenny. Then I have here my debugging console where I can just uh, activate the debugging. So I can start the debugging. For this, all your objects need to be uh, saved. Um, it should be activated and refreshed and saved before. In my case, I know they are already active, so I don't need to do that. I didn't do any changes. And now you see that the debugger has been started for Jenny. You see here's the console. If I go now on the front end and test, you will see that the debugger will pop up. So in our case, we will trigger the create which will trigger first time the after modify because in the moment the screen opens up the after modify is triggered and now i can use here to uh, show the next statement to step over to step out so i can go step by step through the statements i cannot see what's happening here that's teacher the variable we have defined it's empty it's not set we see here also this value here, it's also empty. We can take a look into the structure here. The content is zero because yes, we have not entered anything in the teacher field. And if I go on, it will stay quite empty here. So I just go step by step through here. Nothing will be happening if we go back to the UI. Now I will select the teacher field and will enter a teacher here. So let add me Austin Powers here. And now this will open up again my debugger because this triggered the modify event, which we're in right now. And here you can see now that the teacher here has the content E8888, which is the ID of this particular user or employee Austin Powers in this case. And now we will go also on here. Now we will check if the teacher has set the variable. We can also see it is set. So we can see by hovering over it all the data, all the structure. So we can really dive into also here the content of this one and uh, see the details what this is defined. And now go step by step through and we will see that the association here was set and successfully. Also here you see the, the locals also where we can take a look at. So you can see really um, what is set, what is the different data, what is also the values of, for example, seminar start end date. We didn't fill anything. Let's do this in another round here. So we fill this. Now put a name here. That's our um, programming lesson. We learn programming here. Let's set a start date. Let's set an end date. You see these are not triggering round trips. You can set every field to trigger round trips. If you want that, if you need to calculate something, that would be uh, relevant here. And if I trigger enter, this will trigger round trip. And then we go again here and you see now we go here through the coding. And if you look now into the variables, for example, in this, you can see all the data, description, we learn programming, name, programming lesson, um, the number of participants. So you can see the exactly total call stack here. Okay, let's go over this now and let's save now. So when we save this now, save and open, this will trigger now also our other breakpoint probably, which is in the save event. So let's wait here a moment. And here we can see that we are in the safe. 
And here we can see the temporary revenue is zero, number of participants is 30, the price per participant is 500 euros, and this will now do our calculation. This is the next step. And here we can see now the temp revenue is 15,000 here. So you can see really the calculation has run through. Um, and yeah, after that it will save and it will open the document. And here we can see that the session is set. That's how we have the name here. And also we have the total revenue calculated and we really went step by step through the logics we have created so far. Um, if you see this video separately, you can take a look at the previous video of mine where I actually created the logic we are discussing here. Okay, I hope this helped you to get a first idea how to use the debugger and the most important controls. I think it's quite intuitive uh, to use and it's really one of the most important instruments. There's also tracing, which can help you to set trace points to really have logs running and traces done. Uh, that are running constantly also. Um, but this we might cover in another video. Uh, the debugging is for sure the most important tool that we usually use here. Okay, thank you very much and hear you the next time. <laughs>